Hey there, welcome back. And uh, this time around, I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing a some virtual shopping for a, a different type of car. So like I said in my previous videos, I sometimes like to window shop. I have about six cars now and I really shouldn't be buying any more. And so sometimes I decide to just look around for a different type of car that I, you know, if I didn't have six cars already that I would buy. So today I decided to go ahead and try to see, okay, what kind of wacky color cars can I find? So I'm going to take a look around for cars that are, you know, let's start, we'll start with like some simple colors like red, yellow, green, purple, you know, something like that. Let's see, let's, and, and I'm, I'm just curious what's out there. And, um, and yeah, let's see, let's see if there are any interesting deals or anything, anything interesting out there that I, I should be took, taking a look at. Um, all right, so I'm here in the SF Bay area, and I'm going to click on cars and trucks. And there's over 10,000 cars being sold. But I want to narrow, narrow it down by color. And I want to just look at cars that are being sold by owners. Not Nothing in the dealers for now. And let me see here. Paint color. Let's go with red, like I mentioned. Let's start with the, you know, a basic color, like red. Apply. All right, so there's 494 red cars. And right off the bat, I see this one right here, a 1990, 1967 Camaro RS trade. That's kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. They want trade only. I guess they want another car. Oh, that's so nice. Not my thing, but I've never driven one, so maybe maybe I just don't know. All right, so I don't have... Well, I have something to trade, but I'm not going to trade anything. So let's see here. A 1975 Fiat 124 Spider 1800. So we saw a 1977 one in my previous video. And this is cool. Wow, look at that. It's cute. Very cute. Would I pay eleven grand for this? Probably not. Although it is really nice, it looks kind of antique-ish with these wheels, but kind of nice. All right, let's let's keep on going. Oh wow, this Chevy Chevy Camaro for twenty-eight grand. That's nice. Look at that. That is clean. Okay. Eight cylinder LT. It's a 350. Very nice. Very nice. Not my not my favorite not my favorite year of these, but for some people it might be. Let's see here. A 1991 3000 GT SL with 84,000 miles. These always have low miles because they just, they always have problems. Like, look, just overheats pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, look, it's crashed. Yeah, that's why it's so cheap. Oh, my God, no. Huge project. You you really gotta like these cars to uh, look at what happened there. They probably lost control and they hit. Yep, they hit the um, the side of the road. All right, a guardrail. Let's see what's next. Ooh, look at this Corvette. Okay, look at this one. A Chevy short bed. Twenty nineteen. Challenger Hellcat wide body six speed. Okay, that looks nice. It's maroonish or red, deep red. It's a deep red. Nice. All right. 
There's this Aston Martin for 42 grand. So you can get an Aston Martin for 42 grand or a Hellcat for 60. Let's see. 29,000 miles. Wow, this is really classy. I like that a color interior. Like nice. Ah, very nice. Looks like you're driving in a, in a fancy watch. All right, not my thing either. And you know, it's, oh, look at this one. I'm so surprised there's so many cool sports cars. I guess red is the sport car color, right? 8,800 miles, 8,800 8, actual miles, 29 grand for, okay. This actually doesn't look bad. These stripes with this thing, like, wow. Nice exhaust too. This is nice, very clean. Look at that. Oh man, SS, that looks nice. Look at that. It's, it's automatic. See the engine. Oh yeah, that is really clean. You know, for 29 grand, okay, I guess this person really likes Camaros. They have two. An old one and a newish one. And a less old one. Alright, let's keep on going. Not weird enough for me, to, to be honest. 2008 Cayman. Okay. 2005 Mustang. Yeah, nothing else. Ooh, look at this. What the heck is this? That's some weird stuff. Okay, this, this qualifies as weird. What is this, a 1937 to whatever this is. It's a Ford modified T-styled race car. Okay, wow, that is interesting. I'm not sure I want to see, be seen in public with it. Okay. This might be the one. Let's keep on going. I'm going to keep, keep that one there because that, that might be the, the weirdest one so far. Ooh, a mint condition Volkswagen Beetle for 42 grand. So let me get this straight. You can buy a Beetle convertible for 42 grand or, a, <laughs> or an Aston Martin for about the same price for like 42 grand. I don't know. I even though this is a lot cheaper to maintain, I still kind of like the Aston Martin. All right, let me see here. A Pontiac Firebird. This is more of my style. Knight Rider, except it's red. Okay. Oh, Geo Metro. Mazda MX Six. Acura. Oh, another weird one. A Volkswagen Beetle engine Tiger Morgan style replica. Kind of cool. Not my thing. I think this one's, this one's cooler. Um, Chevrolet Camaro. All right. Wow, a lot of stuff in the first page. Look, a Chrysler Crossfire. Something in the field. Let's keep on going. We look an Alfa Romeo Spider Veloce. 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 I don't know how to say that in Italian. Oh, look at that engine. Nice. It's got one, two, three, three cylinders. V6. I don't see the fourth one, so that must be only three. Let me see. One, two, one, two, three, four. No, it's a four cylinder, is it? Let me see, four cylinders? Yeah, four cylinders. There you go. New battery, new new everything. I like it, kind of cute. It looks a little bit more sporty than, inter the interior looks nicer than the Fiat. The engine looks kind of cool. The externals, I don't like the back. I don't like the, <laughs> I really don't like this. Don't like the back. It's ugly. 
I don't know. It's like they needed a trunk, and they're like saying, eh, just make it really long. <laughs> oh, man. This wooden steering wheel also looks really odd here. But that's Italian cars for you. Just a mishmash of weirdness. Nope. Let's see. Oh, a 1934 Chevy five window coupe project. No engine. Oh, it has an engine. Probably car, straight rust, free license, blah, blah, blah. Okay. No, no project. You can get a whole brand new car. Oh, a Miata 1991 Miata, a 2000 Chevy, a 1988 BMW E30 Touring. Wow, a lot of cool red cars. Let me see. So far, that weird one is the winner. And we're only in the reds. I think I'm going to... Oh, look at this one. A 1996 Camaro SS. Let's see if they show the engine on this thing, because that's so nice. Oh, that is clean. 49,000 miles. It's stick shift. It's got to be a fun car to drive. Z28 SS. It was how much? This, these are the, uh, the SS package. Seven grand just for that. The window sticker was, what, $23,000 in 1996. Look at that engine. Oh, that's really far back. I didn't expect it to be so far back. That, that must not be easy to work with. Yeah, that doesn't look very easy to work in. It's going to be a little bit of an annoying car to work on. All right, let's see here. A Corvette, another Corvette, a 58 Bel Air. Cool. There. Ooh, that looks, I like the rims. I like the wheels. I like the white wall tires, I mean. It's a cool looking little car. Kind of have like a pink reddish hue to it. Let's see. Keep on going. A Firebird. Let's see that one. Just so you can see the picture it looks kind of cool yeah i'm not sure what they were doing there you can still see the license plate nice okay i like this one oh that looks so nice okay the interior needs help maybe get it one hundred and thirty thousand miles or so or whatever it's probably not accurate anyway next on the civic another alpha royal spider Ooh, 1932 for ford roadster okay not for me all right you know what i am gonna call it I think that the weirdest car in uh, the weirdest red car on Craigslist has to be that one. Has to be this one. So I'm just going to say this wins. They won 29 grand for a very, very weird car that was on a magazine, apparently. I think this is it. This is the winner. Four cylinders, not super fast maybe, but definitely weird and fun. Very light, probably. It's probably just an engine and a shell. So, yep, there you go. That's the winner. If you like this kind of stuff, let me know which, which, which one of these would you have actually gotten. If not this one, did something else catch, catch your attention? Just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. 
Uh, until next time, just hit like, like the like button and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.